Today we're going to be demonstrating SI joints. Okay, the routine views for this are going to be an axial projection, and then we're going to do both obliques. So there is a comparison X-ray. Uh, on the axial projection, for the angle, it's going to be for a male 30 degrees, for a female 35 degrees, and it will be uh, cephalat. Okay, so we're going to have the patient lying on their back here. We're going to use a 10 by 12, and it will be lengthwise. Okay. Already centered to our film and centered to the uh, center to the bucket and centered locked here. And then our centering for this is we're going to palpate the as is, and it's going to be about two inches uh, inferior to the as is and at the MSP. So we're going to palpate the as is. We're going to go about two inches down. I'm going to be to the middle, so I'm going to come to the top just to verify that I am in the middle. And collimation is going to be to the as is both by, both ways, okay, and to the IR borders up and down. Then I'm going to put my marker placement here to the side, okay. And this is going to be a technique that's going to be about 81 kV center cell. Uh, and again, the, this is a female, so angle 35. For a male, it's 30, okay. So the next view that we're going to be doing is the oblique view. As far as respiration goes, for all these views, it's just suspend respiration uh, for the axial and also both obliques. So the next view we're going to do is going to be the oblique. Now the obliquity is going to be, we're going to be doing both, so it's going to be 25 to 30 degrees. And you're going to be looking at the side that's up. So this is one of those x-rays where we tell you usually you mark always mark the side down. This is one of those times that we don't do that because we are looking at the side that's up. So use the sponge here. We're going to have the patient roll up a little bit to your left side for you. That's good. So I'm going to look at the hips and I'm going to look at the shoulder. I'm going to roll her back so it's only 25 to 30 degrees. I do need to take my tube angle off because there is no angle for this. And I must recenter. Okay. You would bring your arm forward just a little bit. As far as shielding, I didn't mention, but for the axial projection for male and female, we're not going to shield on the axial view. You could shield for the males, but you couldn't for the females. But for our purposes on this, we aren't going to shield for either on the axial. Now for the obliques, we can shield. We're going to shield to the opposite side. I misplaced my shield here. Oh, thank you very much. So we're going to shield to the opposite side, but you have to be careful in how you shield. You have to be very careful that you don't uh, get it in any pertinent anatomy. So again, I've, I've put the patient 25 to 30 degrees. I'm going to come to the top because I do need to straighten her just a little bit. I want to get the shoulder and the hips here in a straight line. Okay. Now I've got her oblique correctly. I'm going to palpate the as is again. And our centering for this is just going to be, here's the as is, one inch medial to the upside as is. Okay, that's our, that's our centering. Collimation is going to be long and it's going to be narrow because we're just looking at the upside as is. I'm sorry, the upside uh, SI joint. So I'm just going to put my marker placement to either side, either corner is, is fine here. The technique, again, is going to be 81 kV and it will be center cell and we're looking again at the upside as is. Then we're going to do the other oblique. So I'm going to take the sponge out and have it come up toward me. Lean back there. You always need to try and get your patient straight and, and everything, the obliquity correct before you want to go ahead and do your position because it doesn't matter until you get that. Okay? I'm going to roll you back just a tad bit. So again, we're going to take and palpate the uh, upside as is, and we're going to come in one inch medial to the upside as is. Here's the as is. I think it's a little bit more. It's only an inch. Again, the collimation is going to be long and narrow, and we are going to then put our left marker. We're looking now at the left marker. The patient is in an RPO position, but you're looking at the left SI joint. And again, if you were looking at the right SI joint, the patient's in an LPO position. Again, the techniques are 81 kV center cell for both and also for the axial projection. And this is our SI views, SI joint views 